he calls in our favorite couple, Ed and Lorraine <gasps> Warren. Oh, we stand. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, they don't look like Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson. Unfortunately, we don't look like Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson. We look better, <laughs> thankfully. Yes, imagine us as hotter than Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson. That is accurate. <laughs> Hello friends, so I decided that we were going to do something a little bit fun, a little bit different, a little bit dangerous. We're gonna play with makeup. And look, I'm gonna make the disclaimer right now. I do not claim to be a beauty guru, a professional. I took one makeup class in college for theater. So watch out. Um, I did get pretty good with some of the things that I've done. So I think today that we are going to do one soft glam look, one that is more artistic and a little bit more out there, and then one that is just pure art. All the while, I wanna talk about some stigma that there is about men and makeup. So we have my favorite era of Taylor Swift on, reputation. I promise I have more of a personality trait besides Taylor Swift. So first what we're gonna do is something that is really easy that makes me feel kind of prettier and just more powerful. I feel cuter. Something that I think is really easy, and I, I got this idea from a customer at Lush, and she was saying how she just kinda wanted to put a little something on, but she didn't want to really be like full glam, so what she did was she just put a little glitter shadow in the inner corner of her eye. And I think it's a great idea. Honestly, it's not very noticeable. It, when it is, it's just like a little, hey. I have this little palette, this little cream eyeshadow palette by Revlon. Um, it's called Revlon Illuminescence Cream Shadow. Oh, a whole bunch of neutral tones. I'm gonna pick the lightest one. And honestly, you don't need a brush unless you really wanted to, sometimes I do. Just get a little bit here, and then we're just gonna go in, right? Just a little bit in the inner corner. And we're gonna kind of fade it out. And I know it feels like it doesn't really make much of a difference, but honestly, when you're gay, just on the very inner corners to kind of brighten up your eyes. And I think it's a really cute look. It's nothing that just really pops out and is like, I'm wearing makeup. It's just like, I feel cute. And this is a little something. Now you can always add a little bit more to this. This is just like a shimmer shadow, so it's really, really easy. But you can also do a glitter shadow. Now this is like a glitter, glitter shadow. If you really want to, I think it's fun to take a little tiny angled brush, go in just a little bit, and then really hit the actual inner corner. See how that kind of just makes like a, a more of a pop in the middle? And it's just really easy, okay? And it's... If you are gay and you're scared to wear makeup, or you're just a boy and you're scared to wear makeup because of the world that we live in, honestly, just a little glitter shadow, uh, a little, well, yeah, a little glitter shadow or a little shimmer up here in the corner, in the little inner corner, it just makes you feel good and it makes you feel better about yourself. Now, eyeliner, eyeliner is a little wild. Um, James Charles has a really, really good <laughs> tutorial on how to apply eyeliner or like for guys, and it's just kind of like simple. Makeup should not be gendered. I just want to put that out there. Makeup, a lot of it really started with men, as well as nail polish. Our culture thrives on masculinity, okay? All I'm doing is just creating, all I'm doing is just creating a little line from the bottom of my eyelid and just going up just a little bit to an angle. Not too much, I'm just going a short little angle. So our culture thrives off of masculinity and we praise what we think masculinity means, um, especially here in America. You know, big, strong guys who just provide for the family. They hunt, they eat, they speak really low, they dress really plain. But that hasn't always been the case. In Egypt, men used eyeliner and they used uh, lip stain and cheek stain. Now I'm just gonna make a tiny little line right here to connect this. In Asia, men actually used to use nail polish to show status. This pen kind of sucks. I low-key also think, like I said, 
Like I said, this makeup is a little old, so if it's not working its best, that is not the makeup's fault, that is mine. You know what? We're gonna switch it up. A black shadow. In gay culture, toxic masculinity still runs so deep, but makeup is not a new thing for men. It's really not. In Rome, in Egypt, eyeliner, wearing eyeshadow, wearing makeup, was not unheard of at all. Masculinity and femininity, I believe, are two different energies that you should always be allowed to explore. And it doesn't matter what gender you are, it just matters what you enjoy to see that day. Okay, this isn't, this isn't bad. I actually think it looks kinda cute. So I would say the first look would be just that little, that little shimmer shadow here. And maybe a little bit of this eyeliner right here. And you don't have to do a wing. I kind of dragged it out, but you really don't have to. You can keep it right here and it still looks good. But I think since I'm kind of feeling Taylor Swifty, a little snaky, a little green, we could add some fun shadow. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just kind of go into my lower lash line. I'm gonna put this green here and then I'm just kind of going to fade it out. I'm gonna go up to the inner corner. I'm gonna kind of smoke it under my eye. And I'm really even gonna kind of hit like my under under eye. Oop, try not to get that. All right, then I'm gonna go up top and I'm gonna really hit the top of my orbital bone. I'm gonna go up, up, up. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, this kind of more olive green I'm gonna go in and do the whole lid. Yeah, I think it's cool to have like this under eye kind of thing going on. I don't know, I'm just having fun. And that's the thing guys, makeup should not be this whole big ordeal. You should just be able to just kind of put it somewhere and just have fun with it, right? Because like, what's not fun about putting colors on your face? I think it's very exciting. I don't know, I'm really not mad at this at all. I do think that it could use a bit more dimension if we faded in a black from the inner corner now. Ooh, I'm gonna take this glitter shadow. I'm gonna pop it right in the inner corner, but it's gonna be very sparingly. See, I think this looks cool. I'm really into this. I think the under eye really gives it more of like that kind of masculine energy. And I think it's fun. So this is a bit more artistic, but still wearable. And maybe if you, even if you finish this up with like a dark green or a black lipstick, that would be cool too. All right, so now I think we're going to do something way more artistic. Okay, this is a white liner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this side of my face with green shadow. I'm turning into Alphaba, the wizard and I. Alphaba would be shook to see some human trying to make their skin look green. Could you imagine? I just want you guys to understand how important it is to realize that we have never, there has been a long period of men with makeup, men with nails painted. It wasn't until the 18th century that Queen Victoria was with the Church of England and she said, you know what? Something about this doesn't feel right to me. I just don't like it. It doesn't work for me. And I think it's an abomination. And it stuck. It stuck so hardcore. And even still in the 18th century in France, men of the aristocracy would wear the big powdered wigs and the pale faces and the rouge and they had a huge obsession with giant, long, fancy, fluffy wigs. But after that, it really took a turn. And it wasn't until the 1980s that like Boy George and Prince started wearing a little bit of makeup that suddenly boys were like, oh, maybe I can kind of wear makeup. 
And in the early 2000s, it was very grunge makeup and emo makeup. You know, where men, where they called it guy liner. And even there was a whole term called metrosexuality, where if a straight man was exuding any kind of femininity, then he was called metrosexual, which doesn't make any sense because there's no sexual gratification from that. It's not a, it's not a sexuality. All right, so honestly, this picture of the snake that I'm looking at, it's really very chain link fence. All right, so here's where it gets a little fun, but a little crazy. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add shading where the corners meet, okay? All right, you're just gonna go to the top of each diamond, the top of each diamond, and you're going to shade the top two sides like this. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take black and shade on just the inside of this line. Just the inside. Now, because I am fair toned in pink, I'm going to use a pink color. I'm gonna paint a pink peachy line on this outside part. I'm gonna use some white body paint and I'm just gonna highlight some of these scales. Now, the white is going at the bottom of each diamond. Now, on some scales more than others, I'm adding a bit of a harsher highlight so that it just kind of looks like they're gleaming. So I think I'm going to hit the scales that just kind of hit my orbital bone and my cheekbone. Those are going to have the sharpest highlight. All right, so I'm just going in with a little bit of a light green and I'm kind of hitting some of those white highlights to make them blend in just a little more. This is just what I kind of came up with, very inspired by my reputation hoodie. Remember, makeup is just paint on your face. So however you wanna put it on your face, that's up to you. All right, my loves, I hope you had a wonderful time here. Remember that I do have a podcast that I would love for you guys to listen to called Hold Me, I'm Scared. The link is down below as well as some of my social media. Definitely, I am most active on my TikTok. I think I'm gonna try to upload every Thursday on my channel and we're gonna keep our same goodbye. So I'm gonna blow you a kiss and you better catch it and blow me one right back. Whew. Get it, get it. All right, blow it back. Oh, 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 oh. All right, thanks for hanging out and I hope you guys had fun. Bye.